Hello, beta testers. <laughs> One of the reasons I proudly use the term lazy for developers, designers, producers, any schmuck with vegan energy desperate to label everyone is because I perceive them to want all of the credit for none of the work. These hacks can't even keep a good thing going after inheriting someone else's work, and that work often has succeeded for generations, more embarrassing, disappointing, and pathetic than an heir running the family business into the ground. But men like me do not use terms like gatekeeping lightly. Unlike the credit for nothing that they beg for, the disgust that we feel for most of these radical dyed-haired jackasses, it's earned. They're brats, entitled, brain-damaged enough to forget titties or why the race exists. And not the race y'all worried about, the, the human race, as in man, but just hearing race of man is triggering for these losers. Did you hear? Someone's son leaked, like, GTA 6 information with the map and all this stuff. They posted pictures to prove that they were related to somebody that works for Rockstar, you know, for clout. And as devastated as the Rockstar developers must be, this is all pretty funny and like typical because it's a microcosm of the world we live in where some shit stain will just do anything, say anything, go anywhere, act however for internet views. You know, without a second thought of consequence, how somebody else may be affected. I know how ugly the world can be, but sexy used to balance that out make it tolerable not so much these days with the woke types editing out the grit and making sure to smooth all those edges off of these entertainment products when a wizard game can come out and have certain groups unironically accusing people buying a game of genocide because of the money going to someone that they don't like, it's honestly comedy. And that comedy doesn't need uh, treatment. It's free material. Free real estate, if you will. Pearl-clutching mothers, too stupid to think for themselves and too lazy to parent their children effectively, used to believe whatever mainstream media and their favorite televangelist would tell them about the boogeymen poisoning their children. People then were even more susceptible to the narratives forced down their throats by the totally unbiased garbage they were glued to. Marilyn Manson, even cartoons like Pokemon and South Park, whatever it was, needed to be censored, for it alone was apparently the cause, the root of violence. And according to these religious ball suckers, it must be banned to preserve society. These days, anime is the boogeyman because it's not queer enough and the heterosexual fan service is scary. It's like people are being forced to watch and it's this is genocide. Everything's genocide. Words are what I decide they are and if I grab my dick and balls and demand you call me a lady, you'd be a bigot not to do it. I identify as somebody who doesn't care what other people identify as with your vegan ass. And I'm feeling a little underrepresented. These days, dyed-haired activists have slithered fully into children's programming and, and vocally make it clear that they're indoctrinating, you know? Endlessly, they actively self-insert themselves into content specifically to groom children to regard anything queer as safe horny to be celebrated, but anything heterosexual is bonk-worthy toxic masculinity. That's bad, horny, and that's bad. You're a coomer. How dare you not be like us? The dyed hair entities cry. For this crime, we straights may no longer have fun. Our sentence? Breast reductions across the board, of course. The male gaze? Ugh! Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> so now it's like masculine faces for ladies, big jaws. Maybe it'll, uh, maybe I shouldn't go there. Whatever. I can't blame the Zoomers. Being stupid comes with the territory. The crusade against fan service and the desire for censorship is what Disney wants too, my man. 
So, coming together, the Zoomers and the new women touch their dick tips together to fuse, but not in like a cool Dragon Ball Z way, more like a Steven Universe way, you know what I mean? But the thing about people with little talent and even less experience is when they're given power and a position to create, what comes down the pipe is often boring, uncharismatic, and you're seeing a lot of this girl boss focused cancer just destroying from the inside what used to be a lucrative and long-lasting endeavor. Flawless Mary Sues, so talented that they've nowhere to grow, and so bankrupt from a creativity and appeal standpoint that, if not for the popularity of the properties that they've forced their way into, no one would even see this to forget it. But it is forgotten. And what a shame that mid has become your priority. We genuinely don't have to roast this shit. The sad part about a lot of these uninteresting characters is that they're uninteresting because they're self-inserts. As woke as a lot of this garbage is, no one thing ruins an entire project, but when all of it sucks, you know? There are less attractive women around you than this right now, beta tester, with huge titties or nice asses, down-to-earth charm, and probably the ability to suck a golf ball through a garden hose that leads them infinitely into more interesting lives because, and this is the important part, they're living, not just existing like these activists, not endlessly scrolling through social media for things they can personally ruin for other people. The same people sitting on woke juries deciding what games will win the game awards. <laughs> They're refusing to cover a woman developer being doxxed by Twitter psychos because her game is not fitting the approved narrative. And what choice do most of us have but to start breaking free of this shit? Make your video game, put some titties in it, break the mold. Because what they think is special, what they think is unique, has become the norm and it's stale. I could waste a lot of time exploring historically how this nonsense pans out. But if I may be concise, controversy didn't make Pokemon less profitable, and trans people calling boycotts for a, a video game that they consider genocide didn't stop Hogwarts Legacy from selling more copies than any fucking game this year. Why? Because I buy Pokemon because I like the pocket monsters, and I get them when I buy it. People bought Hogwarts Legacy wanting a magic game at a magic school where we fly on a magic broom, and they got that when they bought it. When I buy a game with Grand Theft Auto in the title, it isn't because I want to abide by the goddamn law in this virtual crime and chaos simulator. Trevor Phillips' entire character is the embodiment of the gamer and a skilled developer hand job understanding he's exactly what the gamer wants to be and it gives us the opportunity to kind of live that in the midst of the story. Uh, you know Butters in this episode of South Park where he's kicking his dad in the balls because he believes he's in a simulation? Butters, like many of us, would never seek violence and cruelty on random niggas in the street, bro. But a series of ones and zeros taking human shapes they're, they're, the, the polygons are... Why does this need to be under... Like, I need to explain this to somebody? Get the fuck out of the... You're a tourist. You're a fool. You're, 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 you call us? Look at you. We don't need to mock you. We could hurt your feelings with a mirror. And it's because we don't have to do anything. You're doing it yourself. Stop hitting yourself, man. That's the whole games journalist space right now, and we can't wait for you to collapse because who earned it more than you? In fact, true genjutsu would be the stupidity necessary to allow a few fucked in the head weirdos to ruin an edgy, lucrative game for everyone. As a black Floridian, because labels are necessary these days, I can tell you that forcing ugly token ethnic women into media reinforces racial hatred. Halle Berry, Selma Hayek's, and Jenna Ortega's of the world do infinitely more in bringing some of these simple 
people around than any of your jizz-crusted messages from dimwit morons filling superhero games with bike-riding portions because life is strange and last of us to give the soy-drinking developers phantom feelings where their genitals used to be. If J.K. Rowling was a normal person, she couldn't sustain the onslaught from the activist normies. But she's wealthy, not rich, wealthy. You're wealthy too, Rockstar. And I know it's more about crafting a lucrative product that will return the investment for potentially another decade, but if you appeal to the jackass crowd that reduced Disney to a post-surgery, constant feces-smelling mess, then you deserve to lose to waifus. If Rockstar is done nutting up and making art, It'll be instantly telegraphed to people based on how they tiptoe around because some of us are willing to die for what we believe in. And as someone speaking on behalf of people who have fought, served, and are actively serving and are trading their life and limited time in service of being medically lawfully available during emergencies, these kinds of heroic people deserve a harmless fucking outlet that's not going to damage their goddamn body before you assholes try to take that too and they'll fight for it unstable hormonal because the pills that you choose to pop in your cult screeching because you're losing grip and control with your mob <laughs> listen a good comedian will piss anyone off these days but a great comedian shit you're probably no stranger to hypocritical takes from radical activists pretending that they care about inclusion when in reality the cum gargling cult members only want to represent they themselves and other entities that are like-minded and uh, agree with their sentiment otherwise they're not an ally the gamers and the kotakus of the world are now finding that even the rage bait they've been pumping out is failing to get clicks as you compete with AI, as prophesied, which is outperforming you on all fronts. But these confused people pissing in the pool because they can't get what they want have burrowed into just about every facet of gaming. And uh, it's time for you to get the spotlight you've been looking for. Because as I've pointed out with my straight dar, or what the big titty beta testers call my penis, Queer horny is A-OK, -okay, but straight horny is problematic, no way? I amusingly, this has graduated to a necessity and a fetish of what they perceive as diversity and representation of underrepresented or marginalized people, but in reality, it's just an unnecessary subversion that harms the overall quality of the products that we are consuming and are paying to be entertained by, and if it's not fulfilling that, then why the fuck should we keep paying for it? If I bought a bottle of water and when I opened it, it wasn't water, it just looked like water, do you think I'd buy another bottle? Not of this water. Surely there must be alternatives. Ironically, you're making your garbage identical to all the other trash in the Pandurverse and it makes it less appealing at a glance and therefore less profitable beta tester if you ever decide you want to talk about some shit always keep the money at the forefront that's what matter to these motherfuckers and the literal slot machine casinos with games built around jiggly titty waifus they're not paying out money they're paying out hoes booba butts bro sex sells ugly repels what is there to say I don't expect Rocksteady to care about any of us. I expect them to care about the goddamn money. I've witnessed the erosion of the frat boy culture that made games actually good instead of this diarrhea-crusted self-insert festival from lunatics lonely enough to delude themselves into genuinely thinking that their art is worth much more than being laughed at having poisoned our culture for the greater half of a fucking decade with forgettable and mind-numbingly vapid drivel. You have any idea how disgusted you've made people? They're restraining themselves, but they're the kinds of people that you really don't want to piss off. The woke niggas have done it. They have created the most potent cringe I've ever tasted, and I bow to quality. This is 
top quality cringe. This is high praise, considering the YouTube and TikTok content being churned out around the clock. But soulless on a level like this? It's... Twitter has existed as a cesspool refuge for obsessed and radical lunatics doxing and seething to ruin livelihoods of people just disagreeing for years, you know what I mean? But uh, now that they can feel the control slipping, suddenly Twitter's like this anti-Semitic and identical to every other online boogeyman social media. They've, they're, they're proudly allowed to be racist in their daily contradictions of themselves. But we can't even speak about who's factually, narratively treating many of the games without being silenced. I know I repeat myself sometimes. I talk about Call of Duty allowing SBMM to ruin a social experience where we used to be able to take our group of friends in, regardless of our skill level, have a good time, not have to sweat every goddamn match, need to be listening, bone conduction, because all oh, the enemies and their footsteps are giving away their location, but guns have to constantly be nerfed these days. We need to constantly be slowed down. Campers need help, apparently. The wings of redemptions of the world. You just wanted to have a good game. I can't take this shit no more man you know what i mean and we making games for them for games journalists did i call them campers i'm so sorry they're called sentinels now because camper is an offensive term that's derogatory the chat is being monitored kyle you better not say any no no words or you're gonna get banned they're gonna revoke that access for you from this thing that you paid for because it might as well be a subscription service you don't really own it you own nothing so long as you're forced to be online sushi squad by rocksteady they reserve the right to make dirt shit go away whatever the fuck they want it to. They said they don't want to punish shooters in the shooter game. Why? Do you even want to see your kills on the scoreboard? We should get rid of the scoreboard. People are dying too fast. We should give them more health. I jump in the game. I don't see no fucking Jamaican flag. Uh, Dia doesn't see the real Mexican flag. I guess they didn't get permission. But y'all got them pride flags, right? Representation. And then I put my hand up and said, this is a moment for B BIPOC representation. Woo. I'm black and this is lame. Did that creator just say leave children alone? Oh, that's controversial. You're getting ripped out of our game. Do you get what I'm saying, beta tester? Call of Duty is stagnated. And in my opinion, it is forced regression across the industry. The Kentucky Fried Pussified developers that can only chase trends now, they've earned their demise with Roblox shooting games and Lethal Company taking the world by storm. A reminder, again, that games are a social experience and fun are the most important things in a video game. W fucking Pokemon doesn't need to properly come out. They can just drop three of them starters. Oh, which one works for you? Oh, that one's ugly. Are you kidding me? You'd pick that one? Social. Oh, what villagers did you get for your Animal Crossing Island? Turn these games into a movie if you're stupid. Get greedy and go blizzard crazy, you know, make your products repulsive until, oh no, we're not making enough money. Go go put go put some sexy clothes in there. Sexy clothes on an ugly model doesn't matter. Your game doesn't have jiggle physics, so it doesn't matter. You kneecapped yourself. You saw the competition, you ignored the competition, you have earned your 343 volition status. The year of the layoffs is not entirely the gamer's fault. Y'all already know I don't care some normies hobbling onto my channel with a teaspoon of the ocean of perspective necessary to get me, calling me names. Oh no, I'm not an activist, I'm not a journalist, I'm not a content creator or a YouTuber. I am Kyel. I game, I vibe, I fuck with people who can have a good time and laugh because our time is limited and some of the best experiences are shared. I can look at the Asian dude who is opening his eyes wide to, to imitate an American and say, oh, uh, uh, my pronouns, that's funny to me because I have a sense of humor. 
and believe that we should all be able to laugh at ourselves and know that he's not being intentionally harmful. Please, please understand. I don't need you to believe me. We already know you niggas rack discipline. And that's why, after our warnings, we are allowed to gleefully bask in your finding out portion, following the fuck around, watching Fortnite flex its Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> with most AAA gaming seemingly getting worse and worse, with developers proudly more focused on injecting their message than innovating, fuck that. Rockstar, you are dared to follow suit. This is a long video. I've just reached the 20 minute marker and I've barely said anything yet. This isn't the kind of message I expect to reach Rockstar, but it's just a, a bit of my feeling about all of this. If you have speakers that go up to 11, but are restraining, you're forcing yourself to keep them at a six because some pussy is too sensitive. Remind them where the fuck we at. You know, we paid to come to this concert when we buy a Grand Theft Auto game. Why the fuck we dealing with, with, what the fuck, man? You could make this an adults only game and it would sell. But I know that's not where all the money is. You don't need some of it. You need all of it, which is why I'm wondering, Jiggle physics? Not on the table? Why am I even worried about something like this? People don't go to slashers to see covered up ugly old bitches. You know what I'm saying? Jurassic Park needs dinosaurs. We've been through this. America can't do a gun game properly though. So of course I'm worried following high profile departures. Last game let you fuck with stocks. Last game had a literal casino in it, but even though in reality we can get cosmetic surgery, and as I said in a tweet, cosmetic surgery is as American as guns. I have to worry about whether or not Rockstar's gonna pussy out with tame, sweet baby, Western gaming industry, modern audience sensibility. Instead of just including the lucrative jiggle physics that have the term waifu in the vernacular of everyday male gamers, because they're your largest demographic. You're making a Florida game, Rockstar, but I'm worried about how tame you're gonna be with something as big a no-brainer as a hot bitch from the state with Miami in it. Grand Theft Auto's the biggest IP. So naturally what I'd love to see are limits being pushed without imposed, self-imposed restriction. I see all this backwards imposed by a cult of people offended by genuine beauty. Mortal Kombat's removing the literal yin from the yang. I want what inspires and keeps the coal burning in the fires of the everyman, a woman, in all shapes and sizes, not just the ones preferred by lunatics that currently have a little bit of power still. Y'all decided a dick and balls qualifies as a lady too. Good for you. So why do women can't be pretty? What's going on there? It's weird, right? It's weird. You should have pretty women and then you got to tell us that it's a man. But instead it's just like, oh Lord, <laughs> the video game? Oh, 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 the video game? Oh, the video game? Listen, try as they might, <laughs> they won't make themselves less scary to the kids. Some of them desperately wish to get a little dream with, if you know what I mean. At the end of the day, it'll come and go, but it will set a stage for the majority of the industry and influence the acts to follow, if you will. Developers Larian Studios in Belgium of Baldur's Gate 3 fame have cock and balls flopping, which is to say jiggle physics affecting the shaft and testes, but you can already guess whether or not the women are going to have anything shaking. The answer is no. Cyberpunk's finally getting around to allowing people a little romance. But my real question to Rockstar is what do you think will be possible with the competition by the time 
Grand Theft Auto is slated to release. I love you guys, and I hope to be impressed tomorrow with the way things have been going. <laughs> Thank you for watching this far. Special thanks to the patrons. I'll work on a Stellar Blade video so we can have some more fun around here. <laughs>